Hi everyone, I'm Carlotta and today I'm going to dive into a powerful way to get trusted answers on Azure topics or the broader Microsoft ecosystem scope right inside your coding environment by leveraging AI and uh, prompt-driven development. Ever found yourself switching tabs to search Microsoft Learn while coding or maybe asking questions to your AI assistant about Microsoft technologies but then doubting about the accuracy of the replies? What if you could query official Microsoft documentation right inside Visual Studio Code, leveraging GitHub Copilot and the Model Context Protocol without uploading running data yourself? Let's explore how to do just that. First of all, what is MCP? MCP stands for Model Context Protocol and is a standardized protocol that enables AI applications to connect seamlessly with external data tools and resources without the need for custom integration. MCP consists of three key components, a host, an AI tool or environment like Visual Studio Code or Copilot Studio that initiate the data access, a client uh, which manages one-to-one -one connection with the servers like GitHub Copilot, and sometimes the host and the client might be the same. Servers, lightweight programs that expose specific capabilities tools, resources, and prompts through the model context protocol, allowing developers to use existing servers or build their own. In Visual Studio Code, MCP servers might act as bridges to trusted content, providing access to data and context. You can find available server at https codevisualstudiocom mcp. Let's take a quick look at this list. You'll see servers from GitHub, Hugging Face, Figma, and more. Today, we'll focus on the Microsoft Docs MCP server, which connects directly to Microsoft Learn. We are redirected to the GitHub repo, which hosts the MCP server code, where we can deep dive into the tools and resources offered by this server by looking into the readme file. Now, let's come back at the top of the page to install the Microsoft Docs MCP server by clicking on the blue button in here. This will open the Visual Studio Code desktop app to actually install the MCP server. So I confirm the installation and wait for it to be done. Let's use it. Let's open the GitHub Copilot chat and then let's ensure we have the agent mode enabled and let's choose the model we want to use in the chat. I'm going to pick GPT-5 preview. Let's also ensure the MCP server is correctly installed and enabled by expanding the tools that GitHub Copilot can leverage. And here we are, our Microsoft Docs MCP server is here. Okay, so now let's ask a question like, does Azure AI Foundry offer a Python SDK? So a question that needs a grounded answer on Microsoft Docs. So Copilot will route the query to the MCP server, but first it creates a summarized query to perform the search into Microsoft Docs. And then it actually performed the search by identifying the Microsoft Docs search as the tool to perform the search into Microsoft Learn with the created query. So I confirm by clicking on the continue button and then I get the final answer, which is grounded on Microsoft Learn. So Microsoft Official Documentation and also includes some links to validate the answer and learn more. Now the challenge is how I can make sure that GitHub Copilot always use Microsoft Doc MCP server to retrieve official documentation and ground its responses and, you know, avoid the risk of any un ungrounded or inaccurate answers related to Microsoft ecosystem and technologies. The answer is I can use a new feature of GitHub Copilot, which, call, which is called Prompt Files, where I can basically define a prompt file where I add the instructions to my GitHub Copilot agent. Let's make it a little bit bigger and let's add in here a few instructions. So first of all, we are defining the mode, the model and the tools we want to leverage 
in GitHub Copilot. If you see here, the tools are basically the Microsoft Docs MCP server tools. What I'm instructing here, GitHub Copilot, to serve as an assistant whose goal is assisting with Azure and Microsoft technologies related queries by providing official guidance uh, through the Microsoft Docs MCP server. Now the trigger to using the MCP server is any topic related to Azure, Azure CLI, BISA, Microsoft Android D, um, Azure Foundry, and so on and so forth. Also, I add some uh, required actions, which, which are performing a doc search against Microsoft Docs, fetch the full page, and then synthesize a concise answer with some links to learn more and refer additional resources, and also some guard lists of things to avoid. So now let's use this uh, prompt we've just defined and ask the same question as before. So to use the prompt, the predefined prompt, I just use the slash msdocs-assistant, which is the name of the file, and then I ask my question. Does Azure Foundry offer a Python SDK? As you can see, GitHub Copilot is searching in the Microsoft Learn uh, Docs using the MCP server and using the Microsoft Docs search tool. And then here's the result of the search summarized into a few points which results in the final answer, which is a positive answer. And it also includes some instructions to install the SDK and some links to docs. We have leveraged the Microsoft Docs MCP server for GitHub Copilot. Now let's go one step further and build a custom Python client to invoke it. Since a custom solution always gives us the maximum level of flexibility and overcome constraints related to a specific product or platform. Of course, we're not going to do it alone, but we leverage uh, prompt-driven development to do so. So let's open a new chat and let's switch to custom model, which is a model that has been fine-tuned to my organization coding environment to provide more accurate results. And let's ask to Copilot to create a Python client able to interact with the Microsoft Doc server to explore tools and perform a test scope. The first thing Copilot does here is fetching relevant resources for Microsoft Learn and MCP docs along with code samples to use as basis of the code to generate. Well, it then created the Python client logic in this MCP client Python file uh, and let's have a look to it. We will have a main function that initializes a streamable HTTP client session and then use the list tools function to retrieve the list of tools exposed by the server. Then it uses the Microsoft Docs search tool with the provided question as input to initiate an interaction with the server. It finally prints the results in a JSON format. Okay, so let's approve the changes that Copilot made, so the new file that have been created with uh, the keep button. And then let's now open a new terminal to test the code Copilot just generated. Now, before executing the script, though, we need to install the requirements suggested in Copilot's reply. So we create a virtual environment, we activate it, and then we install the MCP dependencies. We need to be able to use the MCP Python SDK. Okay, we are ready to execute this Python script, and then we'll look at the results. So we've got the list of tools, which are two in this case, provided by the server, and the response of the server when calling the Microsoft Doc search function with the provided user query. I would say we have a good rough of our code, but we want to make sure to push it into a private repo where other collaborators can see and edit it. To do so, let's open a new chat and ask Copilot to create a private repo, commit the code to it alongside with the new readme file. Okay, it is creating the readme file that we can quickly inspect and which contains some information relevant to the code. And then if we look at the Copile reply, it is also checking if we want to proceed using the GitHub CLI. And uh, that's how I want to proceed since it's installed on my machine and already authenticated to it. Uh, as a result, I get a script to set up my, my GitHub repository that I can execute to, uh, you know, create a repository and push the code to it. And you can see that the script is executed line by line to do things like checking that Git is installed, initializing the Git config files, uh, creating a comic message, 
Okay, so let's go into the browser and see the results. We have uh, this new private repo called MCP Client Proj, which actually contains the README file plus my client. That's a wrap. Today you learned how to use GitHub Copilot and the Modern Context Protocol to query the Microsoft Learn Docs, install the Microsoft Docs MCP server and route queries through it, ground Azure questions on Microsoft official documentation, and building a custom client in Python to invoke the MCP server. Now try it out in your own workspace and let us know your experience in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure to watch the other episodes of the series to get more tips about prompt-driven development in Visual Studio Code. Also, check the description of the video for further resources. Thank you for watching. See you next time.